All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take a regular headlight. It could be a used one or a new one. This one is actually new that I bought on eBay for about $80 for a set uh, for our CRV. And you can turn it, and you can turn it into something custom. So this one's actually the Laser Etch Honeycomb, and I've got the shroud over it that actually has the turn back uh, signals. So they're actually um, the angry eye looking style and it's got the white LEDs uh, that go around here. And then when you turn your turn signal on, it turns orange. And I'll show you that right here. All right, so if I hook up power, this is gonna be the regular daytime running light when you turn on your parking light switch that would typically light up the, the outside light right here. And when you turn your turn signal on, it would look just like this. Now, of course, you could wire it ever how you want to. You could wire it to have this as your daytime running light, and you could make the turn signal white. Um, I mean, that's, that's completely up to you. And you could have it where it turns on and off like that. And I've got a set of LED headlights that I installed just like that. So basically this thing comes with a switch that has four wires. Um, you have a power, a ground, a running light, and a turn signal. I have the LED uh, lights, um, headlight bulbs that go in here. And then with the shroud, it comes with this for your high beam. So when you turn your high beam on, this actually will angle it up to, uh, to kick it up. So this is pretty simple install. Um, you, all you really need is a heat gun and a screwdriver. So I'll put all these parts in the description um, as far as what shroud I ordered and they have several different kinds, where to find the honeycomb style laser etched uh, projector and the brand new headlights. So all in all, I think this cost me right at maybe $150 including the headlight bulbs. So you really can't beat that. So let's take this one and open it up with this heat gun. All right, so there's two methods you can do to open this up. You can either stick it in the oven at like 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, and that will loosen up the adhesive silicone that goes around the edge. Um, I'm just gonna use a heat gun, and I'm just gonna heat up around the edge and start pulling it apart. That's just my method. Just like that, we got this off and we'll be able to reuse the silicone that's still on it. We're just gonna heat everything back up when we go to reinstall it. Now, if you wanted to paint this chrome housing a different color, you can take this off by undoing these two Phillips head screws. And then you can take that out of there and repaint it and put it back in. I think I'm just gonna leave this one chrome. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do is take this off and you see how this thing's got this Phillips head screw. All right, so you can take this one right here out. We have to get this old reflector right here out. So there's a screw right here at the bottom that holds that on. 
you just need to be able to get access. So now get that screw. This will come right out the front. Now I've already installed these two individual pieces together. Now the, the shroud itself, it comes with these four tabs. And then I had to find my own four screws for whatever reason, neither one of these products came with the, the screws that hold it in. So you're gonna have to find you some small screws. And I actually had to hold these with a pair of pliers so they didn't start turning. Notice that this one says version 8.0. I had this on the bottom or where the angry eye is. I actually have the version 8.0 on the bottom. So it took me a minute to figure this out. So what you wanna do is take this rubber gasket and the way that it's beveled like this, put that on there first. Get a hold of your housing, thread your wires in on the back side. This is what it will look like. Put your wires and feed them down to the bottom. Next, get one of these and have it where the concave is going inward like this. And that'll fit on there just like that. Okay. Now take this piece and have it facing up. It lands in a groove right there. And then now you take your nut, thread it on here. I'm gonna get a pair of pliers on to tighten that down. All right. Now once you got it tight, as tight as you can, All right, now you can install this piece that holds your headlight into place. So it's got these little itty, itty bitty Phillips head screws. So you're gonna need like a number zero. You're gonna need like a zero Phillips head screwdriver. is this comes off and you got two o-rings so now on here you're going to install this first and turn it until it drops in now you've got this little spring clip okay so start it in the holes up top and then down here at the bottom you have to move it over and clip it into place just like that down there at the bottom you can install your LED bulb and once you've got it in now you since it's just held in with o-rings you're able to turn it and adjust your direction of light because it will change whenever you turn it on you can adjust it to make it where it shines perfect but I just want to show you with these LED lights that I got this has a um it's got a cutout inside of here where you can install your headlight so you install it and then you twist it and it holds it into place and then you just have to twist it back and pull it out so, so now we can reinstall everything everything installed. All right, and so I've got this coming out the bottom, down through here. All right, so we're ready to reinstall both of these. I'm going to use the heat gun and we're going to heat all this back up.
hope you enjoyed this uh, modified install. Um, you know, stay tuned to the next video on how to install these on the CRV. Hope you very much enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a like, uh, comment, and definitely subscribe if you enjoyed these kinds of videos on how to make some stuff, how to do some stuff to your Hondas, and stay tuned to some more projects.